In this video, we are going to go over the new procedures for filing a flight plan for VFR practice holds and approaches in the Daytona Beach Radar Service Area using ForeFlight and 1-800-WX Brief. VFR practice approaches simulate IFR approaches but cannot be conducted in IFR conditions. This change is effective immediately and is meant to help the controller and the pilot with their workload. We'll first start off with ForeFlight. When entering in your information for ForeFlight, here are the most important steps to ensure your submission is filled out completely and correctly. Step 1. Enter where you are departing from. In this case, we are departing from KEVB, New Smyrna. Step 2. Enter where your first VFR hold or approach will be conducted. For this flight, it will be for Ormond. Step 3. Enter when your estimated time of departure will be. Step 4. Change flight rules to VFR DC SFRA. Step 5. Set altitude for VFR at 2500 feet. Step 6. Proceed to the File button to submit. Step 7. Change form type to FAA Domestic since we are flying within the states. Step 8. Double check that the proper information has been entered for the aircraft and the number of souls on board. Step 9. Double check the estimated time for your flight. The time en route may be an estimation. Step 10. Enter the amount of fuel on board. Step 11. In the remarks section, the pilot will enter the holding and approach codes in the order they plan to complete them in. Here is a chart of arrival codes for each approach and hold for each local airport. These codes with directions for filing VFR approaches can be found in each aircraft can and each computer station in the FBO. Step 12. File your flight. When preparing to leave our airport for these holds and approaches, when contacting ground, we would say, New Smyrna Ground, Epic 123, Practice Approaches, Flight Plan on File, with current weather information. In turn, ATC should respond back with, Initiate your flight plan. A pilot does not need to close their flight plan unless it was opened with the flight service station. You require the same process if the intention is to request a local IFR clearance or if you are going to file IFR to practice holding and or approaches in Daytona Beach's TRACON service area. Remember to remain clear of Class Charlie airspace until two-way communication has been established with Daytona Approach. Now we are going to move on to 1-800-BRIEF. When filing a VFR practice holding or approach flight in 1-800-WX brief, in order for the VFR flight plan request to process correctly in the ATC computers, select IFR in the flight rule box and enter the requested VFR altitude using the following format, VFR slash 25. Enter the hold and approach codes in the remarks section in the order you plan to complete them in. When the file button is selected to submit the flight plan, a box will appear warning that the altitude conflicts with the flight rule. Click on continue and the flight plan will be accepted. Using ForeFlight and 1-800-WX Brief will lessen strain on our pilots as well as ATC by filing holds and approaches in advance so both parties are prepared before takeoff. 